I am at the point where I've recorded a screencast using QuickTime of my Google Slide presentation, and I'm ready to save that and upload that to YouTube. So if I click the red ball, that's going to give me my save options. And this is my landform project. And I'm going to save this to movies. You could save this to Google Drive, but since we're going to upload it to YouTube, I'm going to put it in movies because it will be easy to delete once I'm done. And then I'm not taking up valuable space on my hard drive. If you don't see movies here, remember you can click this drop down and open up to all the spaces on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and save and you'll see that doesn't take very long to save. Now I'm going to go to YouTube. So I'm just going to open up a new tab. Make sure that you are logged in. And I'm going to go ahead and create a video. Upload video. And I'm going to select my file, which is in my movies folder. That's on my hard drive. If you don't see it over here, I go to users, click my house, and there's my movie folder. And there's my landform project movie. And go ahead and open. Now you're going to get this window. It does take a little bit of time to process. You can see down here the progress. If you'd like to put a description in there, you can put it right in that space. Down here, you can add this to a playlist. So if you have a playlist for a, a certain unit that you're working on or certain subject matters, if you teach more than one subject, here's where you could actually pick a playlist and you can actually add a new playlist right here. So if you don't have what you need, you can add it right here. And so that kind of is uh, kind of like a file folder. It keeps those all together. Down here, is this a movie you made for kids or not? This particular movie I made for teachers, so I'm going to say no, it's not for kids. But you will have made the movie for your students. You'll see over here, this is only one of the locations that you can grab the link. And if you click that, it will copy it to your clipboard. Now that my video has uploaded and finished processing, I can come over and choose the image that I want to best represent my entire video. So I think I'm going to pick that one. I think I will pick a playlist. I'm going to pick other. Done. And then go ahead and click next. I usually don't add anything from this page, but you can add a little promo at the end and you can add something during your video. If you were trying to um, reference maybe another website of yours, another video, another link. You probably have seen those in YouTube videos. That's where they do those at. Go ahead and click Next. If you choose Public, anyone can search for your video. Unlisted is anyone with the video link can see in your video. So that keeps it a little more private for you if you don't want to have the entire world searching. But if you do, you could end up a YouTube sensation and make a lot of money. So it's up to you how you want to do that. And so when I'm done, I'm just going to go ahead and save my video. One more spot I can copy the link from. There's a list of all the videos I've done. Um, and there's my playlist on the left. So it organizes it nicely for you. Let's get our YouTube video into Google Classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new assignment. I'm going to call that Landform Project. Um, I would probably give my students some instruction. I'm going to go ahead and add. And I can go directly to this YouTube link. Now when I was in YouTube, I copied the URL for my video. So I can Command V, paste it right here, and click the search button. There's my Landform Project video. Select it, 
and add. It's just as simple as that. You can add an additional item that they would now be interacting with from this menu in addition to watching the video. So maybe what would they do after they watched the video? And when you're done, go ahead and fill out the, the side and assign.